As we said earlier, the Croatian camp has done away with the usual pre-game niceties towards their opponents, as Mike Tomolaris reports from Lyon. The one and only time Croatia banned the media from attending a training session, it lost the match. That was against Argentina. Otherwise, things have been looking up for a nation that succeeded all expectations at France 98. All the other seven teams have already been the, uh, the world champions or the European champions. And, and we are there and we are a small country. Uh, and although we think that we have a good team, still it's a big surprise. But then on the other hand, we've been watching Germany for the last four games and they've done everything but impressed us. Despite the recent achievements, there are many who say Croatia has yet to prove itself on the international stage. The world media generally dismisses the side as having even the slightest chance of upsetting the mighty Germany. The negative criticism has upset many players, yet this team is brimming with confidence. Lending a show of team support for the first time was injured star Alan Boxic. There's a sense among players that Croatia is on the verge of something special. <laughs> Trebamo pobjediti Njemačku, što sam ja uvjeren da ćemo sutra napraviti zbog e, malo velike prepotencije e, njemačkog selektora i njemačkih igrača. How many times have the three-time champions proven that a game is never over until it's over? In order to succeed, they're wise enough to know they must also adopt a fight to the end attitude. We're like only one win away from the medal, and you really want it. There's a pot of gold waiting at the end of the rainbow for Croatian football. A nation that's battled so hard for independence in world politics is now one step away from being accepted as a power in world football. In Lyon, Mike Tomolaris for France 98. Well, certainly Slavin Bilic and Davos Shukko are making their feelings plain Andy. They don't rate the Germans very much. We'll take a look at uh, some lineups to see uh, what they base that on. Yeah, well the Germans with a couple of changes. Jürgen Kohler, who's re recovered from a calf injury, comes in for Babel and Jens Jeremies for Helmer. But it's interesting if the, the Croatians don't rate the Germans terribly highly, then the Germans or coming out of the German camp is that they only have to play average in order to make the semi-final. So a lot of uh, mutual disrespect if you like football-wise. Yeah, and again, plenty of experience in that German lineup. Let's take a look at the Croatian lineup. One change, Soldo comes in after uh, suspension and Juricic makes way for him, which means that Vlaovic gets another start up front, which I think having a two-pronged attack worked nicely for them. Certainly took a lot of the steam off double Schuker and the two of them worked nicely together. But I suppose uh, one of the big guides to this game might be the, the, the Yugoslav Germany game. There's a lot of differences, obviously, uh, between those two Balkan republics, but the way they play football might be a, a, a little similar. Yep. And if that's anything to go by, the Yugoslavs certainly gave Germany a bath and, and were unlucky not to get the points out of that one. So if anything points to Croatian success, possibly the way the Yugoslavs took the Germans apart might be one of them. Absolutely. And interesting to note today, uh, Zvonimir Boban, the captain of Croatia, saying that he's not playing where he'd like to play. He'd like to play a little bit further forward, be more free to attack, but he's put aside his own personal uh, desires for the good of the team. That's something that maybe Croatian teams haven't been good at. In Euro 96, they blew up because they weren't disciplined. So if they have got that sense of purpose, maybe, just maybe, they can worry the Germans tonight. Certainly, and, and he, he claims that he's learnt that from his lessons in Italy playing with AC Milan, where there's no uh, room for prima donnas and big heads that gets knocked out of you very quickly. And uh, if that's worked for Zvonimir Boban, then, then all's well for the Croatian side. He played very well in their last match against a, an under-strength an under, uh, strength Romania side in terms of performance. Yeah. But Boban was very impressive. Their first half last week against Romania was excellent. So the Croatians are in this with a real big chance. OK, Andy, more on the game coming up in Lyon. Croatia versus Germany after the break. You're watching France 98, the 16th World Championship of Football.